Hi guys, welcome to CA Final SCMPE or SCPM Self-Paced Paper. We are doing a chapter called as Lean System and Innovation that teaches you how to be reducing waste. And there are a lot of methods for that. Okay, so let's continue with the questions on this. Before I start, also do request you all to consider joining our complete course whereby every possible thing of the modules plus the test papers, everything is all covered for this subject. Also, our Telegram channel gives you the regular updates of whatever I do for this paper. So ensure that you will join it. Uh, let's continue. Which one is not a benefit of shine? Give me the four options, please. Uh, less production downtime. Okay, means machines will become bad less. Then second, happier employees. Okay. Third, improve quality. And lastly, D, inventory reduction. Okay. In case you all know the answer, please do that. Comment below just now. Okay. Now see, first of all, shine is one of the five S. Okay. Five S is what? Uh... I'll take a different example this time. Suppose you all are studying. Okay. I used to study somewhere like, you know, on terrace. Then when I was giving my CA final, I was in a place called as Ratnagiri. I used to go to the beaches and study up and so on. Okay. I had all the weird ways. But most of us, I think we all study on study table, right? So if you're studying, then I think you should try to adopt something called as 5S. So 5S is what? 5S consists of five different S. First of all, sort. If you're in CA final, please don't keep CA inter and CA foundation books near your study table. It's over, throw them. It's okay. You can keep like, you know, them for the legacy. That is one thing, but it is simply waste of time. Okay. And waste of space to be honest. Okay. Second. So once you follow the first step, sort all irrelevant books will not be there on your study table. Okay. Some people like, you know, keep the books for their memory sake. I cleared CA foundation. I cleared CA inter. I will keep those books. You will keep them for a few years. Then you yourself will only throw them. Second, set in order. Set in order means whichever books then are left, try to arrange them in a proper order. Your FR books, then your uh, SFM books. Okay, try to arrange them. Say that for FR you had five notebooks. So therefore, arrange them in a proper order. No Notebook 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Right on the spine. No Notebook 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So on. Okay. Spine is the edge of the book. Okay. Third, shine. Keep your place clean. Keep your study table clean. Okay. Some juice had fallen. Okay. 20 days ago, it has dried. It has become solid now. Okay. So please keep the place clean. Okay. You sharpen your pencil. Every kachra is over there only. Try to remove that. You will always study far better. Fourth, standardize. The best practices should always be standardized. Whatever you decide, like, you know, the audit books will be over here. The FR books will be over here. Try to standardize that. And then try to check, say, once in a month, am I arranging the books in a proper way or not? Okay. Keeping your workplace clean is the first step to ensure that you all are efficient here. Okay. So <clears throat> out of these five S, one of the S is third one. That is shine. What do you mean by shine? Shine means keeping place clean here. So shine ensures that there must be cleanliness in and of everything. Obviously, if there are few, uh, there are less items, then there are less things to be cleaning. So therefore, keep only those things which are relevant to you. Workers are responsible. Now in a factory, workers or employees also, okay, it could be the blue collared people, workers, it could be white collared people who are the clerks, the managers up and so on. They should be responsible for cleaning their workstations, means wherever they all work on a daily basis to ensure the safety by eliminating the scope for any accidents. Do you remember more number of things are there? Okay, obviously more accidents are possible. Example, like, you know, on your uh, table, there is computer also, you keep water also. One day something wrong will happen. Okay. Like I used to work in a very bad position on my laptops. Water was always next to it. One day my dog came. His name is Roger. So, and he dropped the water on my laptop. Okay, laptop, it just went away. Okay, it never ever came back. So, these are like, you know, things that might happen in case your place is not clean. Okay, this will also result in clean and pleasing workspace to work on. All CEOs have their tables very cleaned. Lesser number of things. Their mind works better. Cleaning includes inspection of the machine, tools, or any other production facilities from all aspects. Front, rear, left, right, bottom. So every place should be clean. Now, if you're going to be following this 5S, and especially if you're going to be keeping all the things clean, okay, clean means shine principle, shine principle, okay. 
shine that is the third s that is there so if you're going to be doing that what advantages does it have so coming back to the question which one is not a benefit of shine shine means keeping the place clean less production downtime downtime means machines becoming bad see if your machines will be if your workplace will be clean no automatically downtime will be less okay downtime means machines becoming bad up and so on keep the place clean automatically such kind of downtimes will start to become less second employees will always be happier third quality of your product will always be improving that is one thing that will happen inventory reduction that has got nothing to do with shine here you're keeping the place clean no so how will inventory reduce so which one is not a benefit of shine so answer should be d over here that has got nothing to do with the cleanliness here inventory reduction in case you wish to reduce inventory no there is an other principle of lean system that is called as just in time try to follow that inventories will get reduced so that is not the benefit of shine that is a benefit of just in time here so answer should be d yeah that is the correct answer i'll see you all next time with another mcq take care bye